Welcome to the Crypto Buzz by Calkine TV. I'm Sage and this week one trillion dollars has been wiped off the crypto market since the highs we saw in November of 2021. The markets overall have been witnessing a broad tech-based sell-off, with the Nasdaq experiencing its worst week of trading since March 2020 when the pandemic restrictions started to cause havoc globally. Intel being one of the only tech stocks showing some resiliency. You'll never find your gold on the sandy beach unless you have a medical metal detector and you won't find your oil on a busy street unless of course you mean Wall Street. At least we don't have to dig that deep to mine crypto. In today's show we'll investigate into NetKey and Chivo Wallet, in El Salvador, Chia Network, Chain Token, Singularity DAO, XYO Network, what CoinCover's doing for network security, wait there's more, blockchain in the EV market and what's trending from the NFT space. Whew, well, that's action packed. But as always, this is for informational purposes and is not financial advice. So keep watching till the end. And most crypto based stocks like MicroStrategy, Hive Blockchain and Galaxy Digital have all been experiencing slumps. The Treasury yields have increased since December, but although steadying, most of the market, including the crypto segment, still remains in correction territory. Many business leaders and economists are criticizing the Fed, saying that they have acted too slowly to ease the 7% high inflation levels they're experiencing in the US. But amidst all this, the macro fundamentals still prove bullish for crypto in the long term, although the sector is at present being hacksawed. And you know what they say about catching knives. Well, there has been a significant amount of institutional investment in crypto, even from the banks researching into blockchain technology. Ripple, one of the top 10 crypto platforms who is awaiting the end of litigation hearings with the SEC in the US, has investment from major banks such as Bank of America and the Royal Bank of Canada. Coinbase, a popular crypto exchange, has seen investment from the Australian Big Four bank, Westpac, whose investment proved lucrative for the financial institution in 2021. The hawkish outlook from the Fed and regulatory headwinds could be partly responsible for the current market conditions, but traditionally higher interest rates are meant to be good news for bankers. Central banks raise the rates when the economy shows signs of strength, such as a healthy jobs market, high spending and inflation, which puts borrowers in good positions to pay back loans from lenders. The correlation between Bitcoin and gold as a hedge against inflation is interesting to look at. The gold metal price today is approximately $1,842. A year ago, it was $1,855, according to goldprice.org, whereas Bitcoin is still about 14% up from a year ago. The price of Bitcoin today during the Asian mid-market session is $36,693 US dollars, up 1.3% approximately over the past 30 days. It is down 27.7%, according to CoinGecko. Bitfury CEO Mr. Brian Brooks relayed his thoughts on the matter to CNBC. In his own words, he says Bitcoin is now 20% of the total global store of value market as compared to gold, 20% as compared to the gold market. That's insane. What that report from Goldman Sachs predicts is a future where the Bitcoin price in the medium term hits $100,000 as it achieves parity with gold as a store of value. So most of us in the sector remain quite bullish. That's in his own words. In El Salvador, they adopted Bitcoin as a legal tender in order to not only spur on economic growth and save El Salvadoran citizens millions of dollars in remittance fees by reducing cross-border payments, this move had huge impacts for Bitcoin, especially in the realm of Know Your Customer or KYC and Anti-Money Laundering or AML. NetKey, a Los Angeles-based digital identity, KYC and AML provider, played a pivotal role in this transition. And through the use of NetKey's flagship KYC AML product, Onboard ID, 4 million users were onboarded within 45 days for the El Salvadoran government's Chivo wallet infrastructure. Ensuring the wallet was safeguarded from unauthorized airdrops and according to NetKey estimates, Onboard ID enabled the first time compliant onboarding of 70% of the country's previously unbanked population onto the Chivo wallet. Now Chia Networks also has an offer for the public of the popular Chia wallet and is a new decentralized blockchain founded by Bram Cohen, the inventor of the BitTorrent network. Although it hasn't been around for a full year yet, it still has made a mark on the sector. They announced the launch of its first native peer-to-peer -peer exchange called Offer, with capabilities for all Chia wallet holders. 
The camp's cup is running over as they embrace the DeFi revolution as they partner with Stably to launch the first stablecoin on the Qi network, USDS. The partnership with Stably will make wrapped Bitcoin and wrapped Ether available on the Chia blockchain. And Chia's philosophy is centered around the premise that digital money should be easier to use than cash. Chia is more sustainable using the proof of space and time consensus instead of the energy intensive proof of work used by many other crypto protocols. Chia's price during the Asian mid session is at $78.49 approximately, up 0.7%. Over the last 24 hours and over the last 30 days, it's down 23%, according to CoinGecko. Data aggregator Block Data has provided evidence that banks are curious about blockchain and are willing to spend money to find out more. It's estimated that close to $3 billion was invested by the 100 largest banks into blockchain projects and companies by mid-2021. This is over half the world's largest banks based on funds under management. Chain Token was founded in 2014 and has received funding from NASDAQ, Citigroup, Capital One, Visa and more. Their mission is to enable a smarter and more connected economy from assisting organisations to build better financial services products from the ground up. And according to their website, they say Chain is not to be confused with Chainlink and was acquired by Stellar. So Chain, C-H-N, was acquired by Stellar, XLM, the 29th ranked crypto, according to CoinGecko, in 2018 for what was one of the largest merger and acquisition deals in blockchain history, reaching $500 million. The network in December 2021 announced their flagship product, Sequence, and that it was now market ready for their institutional and business clients. Chain is positioned well with low competition for its services and Chain's novel software veers away from issues surrounding the use of public network blockchains that require smart contracts to be used for creation of financial products. The price of CHN is at approximately $79.99 US, down about 10.3% today during the Asian mid-session and over the last 30 days the price of CHN is down about 24% according to CoinGecko. More information about Chain Token can be found via their website chain.com or from Twitter, Medium, Telegram and Instagram. Now giving Tesla a run for their money, Indy EV are known as a future of market mobility. Formerly their business name is Independent Electric Vehicle based in Los Angeles with a focus on next generation electric vehicles. The flagship Indy One car, which retails for about US $45,000, will enable a new mobile blockchain functionality. And the company's first model, Indy One, is a smart electric car fitted with the novel supercomputer technology known as Vehicle Integrated Computer. And this makes even AAA gaming possible within its bounds, supporting all metaverse systems. And we have a quote here, the future of electric or electric vehicles can potentially be so much more than a mode of transport in pursuit of this vision. We looked at the latest emerging technological trends as applied to our vehicle strengths and discovered an opportunity to integrate blockchain technology directly into our vehicle, says Andre Hudson, Indie EV head designer. And Andre's not the only one thinking big and beautiful, with Sir Richard Branson of Virgin Atlantic having his sight set on a fleet of 12 A380s decked out with casinos, day spas and a gym. Taking transportation to the next level sounds decadent. We'll have more on that as the news comes in. And now we've reached the time for a short break. Welcome back to the Crypto Buzz, I'm Sage. And according to 2021 Software Supply Chain Security Report, researchers from Argonne discovered attackers held a focus on open source vulnerabilities, code integrity issues, and exploiting the software supply chain process, and supplier trust in the distribution of malware. And this has seen an increase of 300% compared to 2020 in malicious attacks on supply chains. Blockchain technology is emerging into supply chain security and agritech in full force to aid in the manipulation of data and food security. And this puts companies like CoinCover in the spotlight. CoinCover is a world leader in protection for cryptocurrencies, having a growing client base of over 120 businesses across the entire crypto ecosystem. The company that saw rapid expansion from just 12 employees to 50 employees within six months has added three additional senior management team members to manage the explosive demand for cryptocurrency protection technology. 
And we have a quote from the company. Cryptocurrency adoption grew at a furious rate in 2021, with 25% of the world's fastest growing brands this year being crypto related. The coming year is poised to be another banner year for crypto growth and investments, said David Janzuski, the CEO at CoinCover. He also added, our goal is to make crypto safer for everyone to hold and use. SoftServe, a digital authority leading the way in cutting edge technology, is backing the artificial intelligence sector growth expected over the next five to ten years. It has partnered with crypto based Singularity DAO in the aim to bring enterprise grade computing solutions to the DeFi and blockchain space. Singularity DAO brings AI powered portfolio management to the crypto space with a more democratized philosophy than the traditional hedge funds, allowing the retail investors to get a piece of the pie. So Singularity DAO has a unique product offering that predicts market conditions using AI tools. This advanced substack for crypto and DeFi market analytics will help inform decision making processes. So a quote from the Singularity DAO's CEO, Singularity DAO's mission of democratizing hedge fund quality tools is not an easy one. This is Marcello Mari in his own words. He says it requires the expertise of some of the world's top players in data science, engineering and infrastructure building. Singularity DAO uses Singularity Net's cutting edge blockchain technology that works as an artificial intelligence marketplace. Its aim is to close the gulf between developers and the distributors of AI products. The price of Singularity Net, AGIX, is $0.1307 during the Asian mid-session, down 7.1% in the last 24 hours. And over the last 30 days, it's down 37.9%. And over the last 12 months, it's up 47%. Now, you can check out my video on trending AI software stocks available at Kelkai Media's YouTube channel for more information on artificial intelligence. Now, whilst we're deep diving into another emerging technology such as AI, how about we look at the introduction to space tourism we've witnessed in 2021. XYO Network, the geospatial blockchain who announced their listing on popular crypto exchange Huabi recently. An XYO coin is a decentralized network grunt powering the services or the devices that use anonymous methods to collate and verify geospatial data preventing inaccurate or fraudulent data. And XYO has had a huge year of expansion in 2021 with many new exchange listings, increases in the price, trading volumes, as well as market cap. The network operates in over 125 countries and has rapidly grown into one of the most sprawling blockchain node networks in the world. Interestingly, XYO is priced at about $0.0203, being down over the last 24 hours by 5.5% approximately. Over the last 30 days, it's also down 46%. But over the last year, it's up a phenomenal 7,776%. Could be worth putting on the watch list to see how it goes this year as it increases its uh, reach with the new exchanges. And this data was provided by CoinGecko. Now for the NFTs as we wind up the show. With the rise of Web 3.0 and a more democratized and decentralized web podcasts, which also saw an explosion in recent years, have jumped on the Web 3.0 bandwagon. iHeartMedia, the leading podcast producer in America, announced a partnership with Roblox, a leading gaming platform, and this will extend its reach into the metaverse and its Web 3 infrastructure. They are capitalizing on the momentum from the Metaverse events to create new themed iHeart events and experiences on the Roblox platform. And this could encourage more users outside of Roblox's current tween market share. So they're usually attracting those primary school aged and middle school aged people onto their platform. But this is going to extend their reach to people a little bit older than the usual crowd who enjoy Roblox. And this exposure could be the motivation they need to launch communities that gain from tokenized utility. iHeart has plans to engage and inform its audience of the emergence of the metaverse and Web 3.0 protocols into the mass market. So thanks for your company on this week's episode of the Crypto Buzz. As always, careful due diligence is required when considering investing in digital assets. Only invest what you can afford to lose is one way to prevent yourself from taking on too much risk. Keep watching Kelkine Media for more expert talks, live market updates, and may the hodling continue. This is Sage signing off for now.